Okay, this... This has gone too far. I just noticed that I've been absolutely getting wrecked in Sorcery Tower. And I was wondering why I was doing so fine on my last run. And then I checked my talent tree. And, and I found something... I found something ridiculous. I found that my talent tree was reset. But that wasn't the thing. When I try to load my talent tree that I used to have, my talent... It makes me have minus 23 talent points. And the funniest thing is... If you look at the number of points on the allocation, it actually says that I have 123. Actually, 126. Which makes no sense. I had this talent tree set up forever. It always had 100 points. What changed? How? How does this have 123? If you count, it cannot possibly have 123 or, ha or can it? And if it can, how did this happen? I had two talent tree setups. I had two of them. I feel like somehow they merged into one and then it got completely messed up. But the best thing is after I set my talent tree, I click back, I go anywhere in the game and then I come back to my talent tree immediately to find it's been reset again to zero. So what I did, I basically created, uh, like, first of all, if you do this, and then you do manage reset talents. Somehow I ended up with 103 talent points. I never did anything. I always had 100 points. And yet after these stupid machinations, I managed to somehow get three extra points. But the point is, I can't even use them. I created this new preset that it's called main. That I, I literally just created. It uses all my points. It's totally legit talent tree that I usually use. And it still doesn't work. As soon as I leave talent screen and go back, everything resets. So I literally cannot use my talents right now. I thought talent tree was fixed. So I wanted to make this video to uh, take this opportunity to talk about the things that absolutely need to be fixed in update 4.0. Now, I'm kind of curious now, what if I delete this preset that is broken right now? What if I just delete it? Delete preset. We're gonna delete uh, my talent. Yes. And we're gonna basically load my main preset that I just made. We're at zero. Everything checks out. Nothing fishy going on here. We go back. We go back to the talents. And it's reset. What am I supposed to do? I'm... It's so really hard to beat the tower, but without talents? It's literally impossible! And look at this! It says now I have zero! And yet I have zero allocated! I cannot do anything! Okay, I can do... Th okay, okay, never mind, I can't do things. But freaking... It's freaking annoying. And now it didn't reset. Wait a second. I... I don't understand. Okay, so what if I just remove uh, my three talent points right now? No! That's not... So I have, like, exactly 100 points used. And those extra three are just hanging around. Is it gonna save it now if I go back? It did! But, what, but, but if I try to assign any of those three points that I have, I just get... Fix this. Now! Take those three points away from me and let me use my talent tree. Okay, it looks like I can use it now. That was ridiculous. I've been stuck without talent tree. I didn't understand what was happening for months. Whatever's happening with talent tree needs to be fixed. Next thing, lag. Sometimes it gets worse, sometimes it gets better, but I feel like... Sound effects. Having sound effects on makes the game a little bit more like If you turn them off, the game becomes slightly more manageable. Okay, when you turn off sound effects, it actually becomes buttery smooth. But when you turn them on, sometimes the game can lag so hard it's nearly impossible to play. Next thing that I want to be fixed in the next update, and this one is a weird one. I don't know what happened, but usually in Sorcery Tower, when you fight, 
and you like you're out of tries and then you in your menu and then the reset happens like imagine right now is a reset time right now it actually works it resets in real time so i can actually continue playing the tower once it resets without restarting the game but before the extension i had to restart the game every single time uh the reset time came and uh it, it would never update like the only way for me to continue playing the tower after the reset was to restart the game now it's fixed sometimes it's fixed when the fatal tower is on but most of the time it doesn't work like that so that's something i really want to be fixed because it's annoying sometimes i look at my thing it shows that i don't have any tries left maybe i don't remember if i played uh, since the reset and i want to know i have to restart the game to actually know if i do have tries left or not which is super annoying please fix it netherwell now trials i thought the whole point of trials was to be able to add more trials because right now the only trials we have are the same ones that we used to have as daily objectives nothing changed to be completely honest this system is, is complete trash on my main account i have like 50 trials unclaimed trials in my inbox and i'm not gonna be bothered to go and claim them every day i want to be able to claim the missions as soon as they're done why is it so difficult to do and that this thing keeps keeps like highlighting even though there's absolutely nothing for me to do yeah i can do the login but highlight when something is done not when there is a mission available it makes no sense and we need more trials they created this whole system and yet they haven't used it once for any additional trials since it was created so what the hell was the point next thing we need more levels in injustice 2 they actually extended uh, the player level to 70 and then i think to 80 they did extensions that's my point in mortal kombat mobile we've been stuck with level 60 max forever i know it doesn't really do anything for you it, it doesn't matter it's just gonna it's, it's just mentally it's your number is gonna go up it's literally doesn't affect anything at all so why not it's literally the simplest thing to do i would love to be able to gain a few extra levels i feel like it would give people sense of accomplishment to actually gain experience in this game so i don't see why couldn't they extend the level to 70 maybe even 80 maybe even 100 make it extremely difficult to grind and maybe set some rewards for every level up make like give us like 30 souls for every level up that would make it a little bit worth it another issue that i'm having with the game that is very annoying to me is in uh when i do the free rewards sometimes i just get this pending basically i watch the video come back and something goes wrong and i have pending and i literally cannot continue my chain and i cannot claim the reward it's super annoying because basically you, you've been doing this trying to get to the final stage so you can hopefully get a good character and then you just get stopped out of this in the middle and there's nothing you can do until the next reset uh please fix it make sure that the pending issue doesn't happen again i don't know why it happens maybe some so, 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 so there is some error in communication between uh, whatever service you're using for those ads and uh, the game so it just gets response gets lost or something just put a timeout if pending was there for like over 30 seconds it's probably lost so just make sure we can continue or at least retry to do the same ad that would make sense right Another thing that everybody wants fixed is to remove the stupid law, uh, the stupid remaining packs on, on, on the packs. We don't need this limit. It makes no sense to have a limit on the soul packs. They do have a limit on the paid packs, which makes sense. They want people to stop going bankrupt, I guess. I don't know what's the reason they have <laughs> limits on the paid packs. Maybe it's a law or something, but like there shouldn't be any limits on the soul packs. Less people grind souls, especially, okay, I'm fine with these rotational packs because it's literally impossible to grind enough souls to, to to open them like more than 20 every week anyway it's it's fine with me but the ones that like the special ones like the the, the sale ones like if this black friday they release 50 percent off of guardian terminator pack or dark fate terminator pack and it's gonna have a limit of 20 that's gonna be a disaster 
The hats are gonna fall. Like, come on. At least for special packs. <laughs> like, keep keep the limit on the rotational packs, whatever. But if you're gonna release some special packs for anything, take that limit away. It's ridiculous. Faction Wars. Uh, more specifically, well, regular Faction Wars matchmaking is out of whack. Sometimes it's too difficult, sometimes it's too easy. Like, if you have Fusion Zero characters, you're gonna be in hell. But if you have strong enough characters, it's gonna be ridiculously easy. Um, my point is, balance it out. Make sure that nobody gets super easy or super difficult enemies uh, when they don't deserve to. And in survival, even though they fixed, uh, they said they fixed uh, the issues with the characters, like for example, some characters not counting as a specific class, uh, it still happens. It still happens that it it's it just messed up. Just fix the survival. We have so like most of the people with not maxed out accounts. Uh, like being not being able to use one or two extra characters that they were supposed to be able to use to can be the difference between uh getting uh to high rank in the faction wars and not getting to that rank so please fix survival i don't know if we should add characters like fujin sindel as 5x characters because they're pay to win and there is like 99 percent of people don't even have them so those seasons are going to be kind of lost for most people Probably not, but at least make them count as a correct class. Make every single character count as a correct class so there's no, like, debuckles that we, like we had in Survival before. Um, there's one thing, one very, very serious glitch that actually I'm gonna ask you not to fix. It's an immortal glitch. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Nobody complains about it. People don't mind. Just just, just let, it, let us have something nice in the game. I mean, I know it has to be fixed. It's not fair, but, like... It was nice. Honestly, that glitch helped me out in, in a tough situation. So it helped me beat uh, the Twisted Tower. It helped me in Sorcerer Tower, especially when I couldn't use my talent tree, but I guess I figured it out, but it's not really a fix. It's like a crutch. Just fix a goddamn talent tree game. Anyway, maybe it will be helpful if somebody has the same issue with the talent tree. Make sure you're not using more than 100 points. I know some people have 102 points if you started playing long, long time ago. When there was a glitch that it was actually possible. If you still have 102 points and you have talent tree issues, just not do not use the last two points. Maybe it will fix it. Anyway, let me know in the comments which things do you think need to be fixed. But I'm not saying like things like bring the old store back. No, that's not a bug. That's not that, that's that's a feature. But I'm asking about the bugs. If you have any bugs in the game that are very annoying and you think need to be fixed, please leave them in the comments. Maybe there is a chance developers will watch it and implement some of them. You can hope. And thank you for watching. Subscribe for more content. Update is soon, and we're gonna cover every single bit of it. Subscribe for more. Thank you, members of the Patreons, and take care.